for those of you that have binged my channel and all the Platinum videos, you probably have every idea in the world what the most important thing to be doing in Warframe to make Platinum right now is. But for those of you that are brand new, let me walk you through it. So, there's a guy here called Anaros. Or, he's not a guy, he's a hollow shell of a Warframe suit. But anyway, this is Anaros right here. And uh, Anaros is the next frame to get vaulted. And, uh, why do we know this? We know this because, well, we've binged my other videos before and this is how it works in Warframe. It's actually the way that it works. So, when a frame comes into the game for the first time, like a prime frame, it will be farmable for 18 months. Approximately 18 months. And a Naros has been farmable at this moment in time, as of me making this video, for approximately... 17-ish months, maybe a week more, a week less, whatever, whatever, whatever the Do date is. The old war? And that being said, that means that we are running out of time to collect Anaro sets. Now, why would we want to collect Anaro sets? Check out this video right here and I'll go into a lot more detail about it. But we want to collect Anaro sets, short term answer, is because the longer we have these after Anaros has been vaulted, the more they're going to go up in price. Right now, if we jump over to, let's say, Warframe.market and we check our platform, it's going to be different for everybody's platform. So I'm pulling this over here. You guys can see that I'm on PC, but you could also check for PS4, Xbox, and Switch. Prices will vary depending on the platform because of that game's, uh, uh, because of that console or platform's economy. Um, but here we have a Naros Prime set. Currently going for 32, 32, 34, 34. These are not bad. I personally, towards towards the end of the life of any frames, uh, like you know, just before it gets vaulted, these are normal numbers. And I totally recommend anybody that wants to buy anything like that, your goal is to shoot for 40 or less. I mean, especially if you're on PC. If we check out PS4, let's see what they're doing over there. We got, we got 30s over here. It's probably easier to use this website on PC, which is why uh, we're probably not seeing as many low offers on PS4. If we go to Xbox over here, we're going to see 59. There's definitely less people, definitely less console players are using this. But then there's Switch. And Switch, I think, could be a little different because, I, I, because don't worry about it. Because it's not. Anyway, so we're just going to go with PC prices because Master Race and why not. So we're looking at these prices. I totally recommend buying anything that's about to get vaulted for 40 plat or less. So 32 plat's pretty good. And why are we stocking up on these sets? Well, long story short, because the longer you hold on to a set after it's been vaulted and it's no longer farmable, you gotta consider that there are more and more people joining this game every single day. It doesn't matter if the game's popular or not. It doesn't matter what game it is. There's always people joining all games. As long as the game still has the servers up and running and it's somewhat of a lively community, which we definitely have a lively community here in Warframe, even when it's not super busy of a, of a Warframe season, um, even when it's not that busy, there are still tons and tons of people that are like brand new to the game, just started playing, and those people are missing out on the opportunity. Like, think about it. If, if you join the game today, you missed out on the opportunity to get probably close to 15 or 20 frames now at this point that have been like vaulted already. I don't remember the exact number, but there is definitely a juicy amount of them. So of all the frames that I just, uh, of all the Anaros parts and stuff like that that I just showed you that I had listed there, um, I want to kind of go over how you guys can get more other than just buying them off the website if you don't have any platinum. So, what you can do is you could spend relics. You could use your relics. So, if I type Naros Prime up here, it's basically going to pull up every relic that I have that has a Naros Prime parts in it. And hopefully you guys wind up, you know, like getting these parts out. Uh, or, or like having the relics for parts that you specifically need. But if you don't, I'm going to walk you through kind of easily how you can do this. So, basically, Axie Relics, uh, or I'll kind of break it down like this. We'll do it like this. Notepad, okay? This is all I want you guys to do. I'm not writing a lot. You don't have to take notes. Just blink a lot at the screen when I'm done writing this so your brain remembers it. So you take those photographic pictures. But we have Lith. We're looking at enemy levels of, let's say, you know, anywhere from 0 to 15. For Meso, we're looking at enemy levels anywhere from 16 to 25. For Neo Relics, we're looking at enemy levels anywhere from 26 to 35. 
And for Axie Relics, we're looking at enemy levels anywhere from 36 and above. So this is kind of an idea as to where you can start getting relics from. Now, as far as like recommended mix, uh, missions, um, excavations are really good. You know, I'm just gonna, here, this is, I know most of you probably have a seizure because you think you're in school again. So let's just go back to uh, the star, the whatever it is. We'll go back to the star chart over here. Excavations, I definitely recommend. Survival missions, I definitely recommend. We'll just go up here. It's got all the good ones. Um, where are we? Assassination, not really so much. Survival, yes. Disruptions, definitely. You could probably bust these. I would I would take a disruption mission over a survival mission any day. Because survivals, you have to be here for five minutes in order to get a chance of getting a relic. Whereas these disruption missions, if you understood... First of all, if you don't like disruption missions, I promise you, you're not... You're, you don't entirely get it. Because these are probably one of the best types of missions to jump into the game. It is not... I think what a lot of you do is make the mistake that I first made when these came into the game, and you all start trying to kill a bunch of enemies that are surrounding the conduit. You, they can't break the conduit. The, the regular enemies, the ones that don't have bombs on them, that aren't blinking with a red light on them, they can't break the conduit, so you don't need to defend it against them. They can't, they can do nothing to it. So all you have to do is put a key in a conduit, play enough of these missions that you get an idea as to approximately where the enemy is going to spawn with the bomb, and just kill it before it gets to the conduit. If you get really good at doing this, you could potentially be done, especially, and, it's, and if you have a team that knows what they're doing and everyone's working together, you potentially could be getting through like an entire round of disruption, in, like 30 to 30 to 45 seconds. If you all like know what to do, plan tactics out, and there's totally ways to do that. But even if you don't do any of the planning and you're just doing it normally, like all like regular style, Still two minutes, two to two and a half minutes, and that's half the time of a survival, and you could just continuously be getting relics. So those uh, defenses, I know a lot of people like doing defenses, but even when I speed through them with like a fast Nova, a Nova with a speed build on, or whatever, it, it it still feels like it's about four to four and a half minutes. I honestly, I think disruptions and excavations are probably like my go-to for doing that. But there's one that's even actually better, and I recommend this super hardcore, capture missions. I can run through a capture mission in literally under a minute. Does that happen every time? No. And it probably isn't going to happen every time for you. And if anybody sits here and like, well, it happens for me every time. I use Wukong and I, I, I turn into a fart and I like, fly around in my cloud or whatever. Like, no, you don't. No, you don't. It doesn't happen every time. That's not how it works. I promise it doesn't. Same thing with Titania or whatever. But could it happen? Yeah. Every time? You're being lied to. It doesn't happen every time, but it could happen. Anyway, a minute to a minute and 15 seconds approximately is how long I can run these as a gauss like not flying through the levels but maybe just speeding through the levels because it's gauss or whatever but anyway those are ways that you guys can get relics another way you guys can get relics is literally all of you should have uh, a syndicate uh, two syndicates at least that you're on and you should be wearing a sigil on your back your front wherever you, sh you should have one of these sigils of whatever syndicate you're a part of on why because that sigil gives you standing passively. Just by you doing missions in the game that aren't related to these, you having that Syndicate Sigil on gets you standing. So every single day, I am burning through my 32,000 standing daily cap here as I play the game, and I'm literally just accumulating standing for both my Syndicates, and then I go into my Syndicates, these I go to my view offerings, sure. and here, I can buy a Relic Pack. This gives me three Relics. So a lot of the Relics that you guys saw that I had earlier in the video, they all came from this. I literally do this every day as I come here and I buy these. Um, that's another way to do it. You could also get those uh, these uh, relic packs or whatever from Teshin in the relay. I believe Samaris might have it. Arbiters of Hexus might have it. That would be Vitus Essence. There's like so many various things you guys can be doing in this game to be accumulating relics, not just by doing the mission for the relics, but like extra as well. And a lot of you might be thinking, oh, I'll get into trade chat though, and I'll just spend a lot of platinum on buying relics. I don't recommend doing that. And I hope a lot of, if you made it this far in this video, say, um, say Gamba in my, uh, comments. But like, I don't recommend you guys do that with your platinum because you're literally not, it's not that I have, not that I care about that it's gambling. It's not, it's none of my business or whatever, what you guys do with yourselves. But like, it's not that it's, not that I care that it's gambling, it's that 
because it's gambling, there's no guarantee that you're going to get the Inaros parts out of, like, the relics you spent your hard-earned platinum on. So, that's why I don't recommend buying relics out of people in trade chat. There's no guarantee that it's going to happen for you. So, ultimately, there are tons of ways in this game that you guys can be getting relics together, that you guys can be doing, you know, like, whatever. Earning... Earning more Inaro sets, which is what I really recommend y'all start doing. And don't panic if you see this video maybe like a month after he got vaulted or two months after he got vaulted. Prices are probably going to be low for a while. Because um, that's typically what tends to happen. Again, watch the video that I recommended in the beginning of this video. And you guys will understand, it's going to take time. But if you just do it now and hold on to a bunch of sets for later, prices are going to go through the roof. And uh, a lot of you might be like, oh, Neo just, that's how he makes all of his platinum. I'm kind of done making platinum at this point. The platinum that I have, I actually have been spending on buying more Inaro sets or more Titania sets or more whatever. Whatever's about to get vaulted. But I'm spending a lot of this platinum and putting it back into the community. How am I doing that? Well, by buying them and allowing you guys to earn this stuff by being a part of my Twitch stream. So you literally can earn free Warframes, weapons, and mods just by hanging out on my Twitch channel. Ask me more about that when you guys come to, and by the way, come on down to Twitch, currently live now as I'm doing this, so there's an entire stream just giggling over here in, in, uh, in chat, watch me make this video, and uh, you could be a part of it too, and uh, be earning free stuff, but anyway, either way, ask me more about that when you guys get here. Love your faces, hope you found this video helpful, you want to make a ton of platinum, I have an entire playlist and series that are all over my channel here, uh, find the platinum playlist series, binge that stuff, and never have to worry about making platinum again. All right, leaders.